Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. I am Amlan Das. Today, I will discuss about Einstein's theory of specific heat of solid. Okay. Albert Einstein in 1907 first explained the variation of the specific heat of solid with temperature on the basis of quantum theory. Okay. The basic assumptions of Einstein's theory are first of all a crystalline solid having n atoms can be represented by 3n one dimensional identical and independent harmonic oscillators each vibrating with the same frequency nu okay the second assumption is the oscillators are quantum oscillators having discrete energies and the third assumption is the oscillators form an assemble of system and they obey maxwell boltzmann distribution law okay now albert einstein used the expression for mean energy deduced by planck on the basis of quantum theory okay Now we know that according to Planck's theory, the mean energy of the oscillator is epsilon bar equals to h nu by e to the power h nu by kt minus 1. Okay. So this is the mean energy of the oscillator. Now for an oscillator taking into account three independent direction that is x y z direction for an oscillator taking into account x y z direction the energy per oscillator is 3 epsilon bar okay so for one mole of solid total energy of the solid is e equals to 3 n a into epsilon bar okay so this is the total energy of the solid for one mole okay now here na is avogadro number so na equals to avogadro number avogadro number now here we put the value of epsilon bar so this is equals to 3 n a into h nu by e to the power h nu by k t minus 1 ok so the molar specific heat c v equals to del e del t at constant volume v ok so this is equals to del del t of 3 n a h nu by e to the power h nu by k t minus 1 ok this is equals to 3 n a h nu into del del t of 1 by e to the power h nu by k t minus 1 now if we simplify this then we will get this is equals to 3 n a h nu into e to the power h nu by k t minus 1 whole square and derivative of this this is equals to minus of e to the power h nu by k t ok here minus and derivative of this term is h nu by k t square ok minus minus will be plus Thus, we get Cv 
equals to 3 n a h square nu square by k t square into e to the power h nu by k t by e to the power h nu by k t minus 1 whole square ok. Now this can be written as this is equals to 3 n a into k h nu by k t square into e to the power h nu by k t by e to the power h nu by k t minus 1 whole square ok. Now n a into k is r capital R that is gas constant. So we can write this is equals to 3 r h nu by k t whole square into e to the power h nu by k t by e to the power h nu by k t minus 1 whole square. Suppose this is equation 1 and here n a into k is r that is gas constant ok. So, specific, molar specific heat of the solid is this ok and this is the well known Einstein's equation for the specific heat of solid ok. Now let h nu by k equals to theta e where theta e having the unit of temperature is a characteristic temperature and is known as Einstein temperature ok. So, theta e is known as Einstein temperature Einstein temperature now using this equation 1 can be written as cv equals to 3r into theta e by t whole square into e to the power theta e by t by e to the power theta e by t minus 1 whole square ok. Suppose this is equation 2. So this is the value of molar specific heat of solid. Now we discuss two cases one is high temperature range and other is low temperature range ok. So first we discuss high temperature range. So for high temperature for high temperature T is much greater than H nu by K or T is much greater than theta E ok. So, the, the term e to the power h nu by k t minus 1 becomes if we expand this term then we will get this is equals to 1 plus h nu by k t plus h nu by k t whole square by factorial 2 and so on ok. But at high temperature we neglect higher order terms ok. So, uh, for high temperature we can write 1 plus h nu by kt plus dot dot ok. We neglect higher order terms and here is minus 1 that is minus 1. So, plus 1 minus 1 will be cancelled and this, this is equals to h nu by kt. So, for high, higher temperature value of this term e to the power h nu by kt minus 1 becomes h nu by k t simply h nu by k t ok.
Now, here the mean energy epsilon bar is we know that formula is h nu by e to the power h nu by kt minus 1. Okay. Now, here the value of h nu by kt minus 1 is h simply h nu by kt. So, this is equals to h nu by h nu by kt. This is equals to kt. Okay. So, mean energy epsilon bar is kt. And for one mole of solid, total energy is 3 Na into epsilon bar. Okay. Now, here we put the value of epsilon bar. So, this is equals to 3 Na into kt. Now, Na into k is R that is mole gas constant. So, this, this is equals to 3 Rt. Okay. So, the molar specific heat Cv equals to del E del T at constant volume V. Okay. So, if this is equals to uh, 3 into R. Okay. So, at high temperature value of specific heat Cv is simply 3 R. And this is same as classical result and this is the familiar Dulong Petit law. Okay. So this is Dulong Petit law. Dulong Petit's law. Thus we can say that at high temperature uh, Einstein's theory of specific heat okay, uh, becomes uh, the same result as Dulong Petit law. Okay. We can say that at high temperature range, Einstein's theory for specific heat gives the same result as, as Dulong Petit's law. Okay. Now we discuss lower temperature range. Okay. So for low temperature range, For low temperature, we can write T is much less than H nu by K or T is much less than theta E. And so, the term E to the power H nu by KT is much greater than 1. Okay. And in this case, the mean energy epsilon bar is uh, h nu by e to the power h nu by kt minus 1. Okay. Now, here the value of e to the power h nu by kt minus 1 is simply e to the power h nu by kt. Okay. So, this is equals to h nu by e to the power h nu by kt. And this can be written as this is equals to h nu into e to the power minus h nu by kt. Okay. So, for low temperature, mean energy epsilon bar is this. Okay. Now, here the total for one mole of solid, total energy E is 3 Na into epsilon bar. Okay. Now here we put the value of epsilon bar. So this is equals to 3 Na into h nu into e to the power minus h nu by kt. Okay. So the molar specific heat Cv equals to del E del T at constant volume V. So this is equals to del del T of 3 Na h nu e to the power minus h nu by kt this is equals to 3 n a h nu into del del t of e to the power minus h nu by kt okay this is equals to 3 n a 
h nil. Now, if we simplify this, then we will get this is equals to uh, minus h nu by kt uh, e to the power minus h nu by kt into h nu by kt square. Okay, minus minus will be plus. And this can be written as this is equals to 3 n a h square nu square by k t square into e to the power minus h nu by k t. Okay. This is equals to 3 n a into k into h nu by k t whole square into e to the power minus h nu by k t. Okay. Now, n a into k is r, capital R. So, this is equals to 3 r into h nu by k t whole square into e to the power minus h nu by k t. Now, h nu by k is theta e. So, in terms of theta e, this can be written as this is equals to 3 r theta e by t whole square into e to the power minus theta e by t. Okay. So, uh, at low temperature, value of the specific heat is this. Okay. Thus, with decreasing temperature, here we see that with decreasing temperature, molar specific heat Cv is proportional to e to the power minus theta e by t okay with decreasing temperature molar specific heat cv is proportional to e to the power minus theta e by t okay thus with decreasing temperature molar specific heat uh, falls off exponent exponentially okay as temperature decreases molar specific heat uh, de decreases exponentially but experiment shows that CV falls off much more slowly than this. Okay. Experiment shows that molar specific heat CV falls off much more slowly than this, uh, this term. And experiment also shows that CV is proportional to T cube for most solid. Okay. Now, this disagreement is due to our oversimplified assumption that all the atomic vibrators vibrate with the same frequency. Okay. Even in a crystal, the oscillators are strongly coupled together. So, the monochromatic character of the atomic oscillator is, uh, is not possible. Okay. So, uh, so, there is huge difference between experimental curve and uh, Einstein specific heat curve at low temperature. Okay. Thus, we discuss Einstein's theory for the specific heat of solid. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.